Over the years, the pilgrimage has been taking place with government sponsoring huge expenses to sponsor citizens to the Holy Land. However, very little has been done to tap into the huge potentials and technical know-how of the state of Israel in the area of agriculture. In terms of landmass, Adama State is by far larger than Israel, but it is nowhere near Israel in agricultural prowess or technical know-how. This is exactly where the Adama State government wants to queue in by taking advantage of, the, of Israel's knowledge in modern agriculture to train this particular group of farmers. So many things that we can pick from here. Those areas where need intervention, we can ask if our governments can, you know, support just to bring the technology to reality. You know, they are involved in genetic uh, engineering here, facilities that we do not have in our country. And we can ask for technologies for preservation, su such as, uh, you know, uh, having uh, factories that can, uh, you know, make uh, uh, tinned tomatoes that can last uh, with as little chemical as possible, because even the chemicals now are a problem. Bishop Innocent Solomon is the facilitator of the latest program of agriculture tagged Sharing the Secrets of Israel in Agriculture. Mrs. Felicia Zomisaki, Permanent Secretary of Agriculture, said with the continuous fall in the price of oil and the global recession, states are compelled to turn to agriculture as a means of economic sustainability. She charged the participants to see themselves as pioneers of new innovations that will transform farming in Adamao State and Nigeria as a whole. The agricultural group has further been divided into two groups. Solomon Kumangar, 2-6 News.